Welcome everyone to Hollow Tree Hobbies YouTube video channel and today I'm going to share with you how to make this unique fun fold card and today we're going to be using the Cardabella Wonderful Christmas Collection and we are going to be using these the, some of the journal cards that come with the paper and I'm going to use some of the stickers as well. Um, again, you can dress these up these cards up as much as you want and I will give you the measurement of this white piece. So if you want to do some inking, some alcohol inks, coloring, you're free to do so. But today I'm going to make this nice, simple, and easy card with you guys. And you guys can decorate it as you like. So we're going to start off with our paper. Now I did put the instructions for all the cutting of the, all the paper in the blog post on the website and as well on the YouTube channel. So you guys can go ahead and cut your paper out and follow along. So our first piece here is four and a quarter by nine inches. Now we're going to make a couple of score marks. So the first score is at one and a quarter. And then we're going to go at two and a half. And then we're going to go at five and three quarters. I'm going to just repeat that one and a quarter, two and a half, five and three quarters. So that is our first piece. I'm just going to put that aside. Our next piece here is three and a quarter by eight and a half inches. And this is only going to need one score mark. And that score mark is going to be at five and a half. So let's go and do that. Five and a half. And that's all the scoring we're going to need to do. So we can go ahead and put our scoreboard away. And now... We're going to take the first piece with the three score marks and we're going to take the first score mark and we are going to fold it back. And I like to go on the side here so I can match up my sides and my score so it gives it a nice, make sure it's nice and straight. And we're going to give that a quick burnish. Then we're going to take this score line and we're going to push it up. So that there. Going to give it a score and then this one here we're going to pull down and again I like to work from the side because I like to make sure that my pieces are nice and straight and we'll give that a burnish so you should have a piece that's going to come out like that so this is the main piece of the card so let's put that aside and then we're going to grab the other piece that we scored and we're going to take and fold that piece back. Again, line it up nice. We're going to burnish that edge. So this piece will look like so. And then we'll put that aside for now. So then what we're going to have is we're going to have some of our matting pieces. I did my matting in green. So you're going to need two of the four and one eighth by three and one eighth. So we're going to need two of these. And we're going to need one piece of one and one eighth by four and one eighth. We're going to need one of those. So that's that. And then we're going to need with your pattern paper, we're going to need one piece of four by three. And then what I did is I cut one of their journal pieces into a four by three piece. So I'm using this. And if you do not want to use a journal piece, again, you're going to cut a white piece of paper four by three or a mixed media piece of paper to do some mixed media on to put on the front. But that is a four by three piece. And then we're also going to need a piece of pattern paper cut at one by four. So now let's get started. We're going to center and glue these two pieces together. So let's 
center and glue that. Perfect. Actually, I'm just going to move this down just a wee bit. So let's do it like that. And then let's go ahead and let's glue our small piece together. And you're going to have about an eighth of an inch going all the way around. So like so. So now what we want to do, I guess we might as well go ahead. We can go ahead and glue this piece on here as well. and now what we're going to do is grab the first piece that we folded and we are going to glue the reason why we have to glue this in here first is trying to get this piece glued after our flap is on is a very difficult so let's go ahead and glue that in on the card Center this in the middle. Perfect. So then what we're going to do is now what we're going to do is we have to work this piece in. So this piece here, you want this level with the base of the card and you want to center it in between here and here. So we know that this is an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to go about an inch here just so I know. So this piece here, we are going to center it. lengthwise and then this is going to go right to the base of the card so that's the first step okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold this card back up and fold this back so from the front we're just going to flip it over here so we know this is about it's about a three quarter of an inch so we're just going to put glue like so and we're just going to take and fold this over whoops so that there so now we have our card like so so now what we're going to do is we are going to take and we're going to center and glue our piece at the bottom so again it's going to be about a one-eighth all the way around so again we're just going to add our glue and we're just going to place this down nicely Okay. like to disperse the glue really well considering we're going over two layers of card base and then what we're going to do is we are going to center and glue this in the middle so you will have a little gap down here and as well as all the way around so let's glue that now you could also put this up on foam dots if you wish uh, that's another option, but the thicker we get it, the more it's going to cost to go through the mail system. So let's, I'm going to just leave this flat. Perfect. 
let's just glue this down nice. And then what I did is I took my baby powder, and this is from, uh, from the sticker sheet, and I think I'm going to put this up on thin foam dots just to give it a little dimension. So this here, I'm just going to, oops, like so. And in some cases, like this one here, I put another sticker down here. I put a, a wreath on here. Um, in this case here, all I'm going to do with this piece here is I think I'm just going to put a couple of gems because this paper is already busy and I didn't want to add any more to this because it already has a sentiment here. So to put another Merry Christmas here, it's going to look funny. So I'm just going to leave this plain and I'll probably add a couple little gems. Now for the back side, this is where your sentiment and where your uh, signature is going to go. So this here is a piece of 4 by 3 white. Now, I normally usually stamp my sentiments on that before I do the gluing on. But for today, I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this on to show you how this works. So this here is going to get centered on here. Like so. And that's our finished card. Look how simple that was. And again, it looks so unique. It looks like you spent hours and hours on it because of the fold. But again, it's something that people can put up. And as well, if you have a family picture and you're giving it to your grandparents or family members, this is perfect to put your family picture in and then they can display it on their mantle at Christmas. And if you use repositional tape, they can take the picture off and put it in a photo album. So that's everything today, and uh, please like and share my video. I really appreciate that. I'm new to YouTube, and I'd love to grow, and you guys have a crafty day. Thanks again.